And now the original lineup, Mutia, Akisha and Siobhan have reunited for a very special reason and they join us today. It's lovely to see you all. Hi. Welcome, Hi. welcome. Nice to you. It's so exciting. Well, it is exciting. And, and here you all are together because I think you two were at school together, weren't you? So you yeah. had that yeah. sort of relationship already. Yeah. And then you met whilst you were at a recording studio. We and about 12, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah the, the two girls met first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I sort of we like... We had friends in common. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And they were recording and then one day... Monsieur was like, oh, can you come with me to studio after school? I didn't even know she was in the studio recording. We were so young. And then I met Siobhan there and we recorded a song. It's an early age, isn't it? I mean, when you really look young. back at it, does it look bonkers that you got yeah. it all so young? Yeah. It really does. Because I, I, you just don't really realise how young we were. I mean, a lot of people always thought we were a lot older. Yeah. And um, I think that's why it works now, because... We're not old, we're really young and we saw loads of time and years right. ago. Yeah, I'm literally like yeah. the same age my mum was when we started. Oh my and God. And I'm still in my 20s, oh. by the way, if I'm <laughs> clear. That is mad. That is mad. And, and Siobhan, I mean, it's sort of childhood-wise, you grow up pretty fast at that stage, don't you? Yeah, and I think, you know, there's obviously a lot of scrutiny and we were three kind of awkward teenagers and yeah. when we didn't go to... Um, stage school or anything like that and we're still not media trained as you'll probably tell <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know you're really hard on yourself and it's really it's it's so different this time around because we're just so much more relaxed yeah. and it really there's a big focus on just enjoying it because if mm. we can't enjoy it now it's you know it would be crazy so many times because there have been so many different bands mm -hmm. um, individuals who've said after a big gap or yeah. whatever, I've come yeah. back and said, you know what, this time I take myself less seriously. I'm, I'm much more prepared mm. to enjoy it. I'm yeah. much more chilled about it. Do you find now that you're enjoying it more than you did then? Oh, my God, definitely. Yeah, yeah I think more, um, tell me if I remember, uh, appreci we, uh, more appreciation, more appreciation for sure. Um, and just like the industry's changed so much. And so you do kind of naturally approach it very like different than you would like back then i think there's less like anxiousness just around like oh what are people can say how many yeah. gonna look? you know and all that kind of stuff like we definitely feel like way more like ready ready <laughs> yeah. 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 i mean the things w yeah. with the band you sort of at different times you peeled off obviously you left quite early doors and mm -hmm. then you went off and you were still singing i think you had a song with amy winehouse at mm -hmm. one point you went into modeling didn't you the booking side of yeah. things uh, yeah i was a model booker for years yeah, yeah. and and you were the, the last to go if you like uh, yeah it was. <laughs> you were the last to go. but then you came back together and you yeah. but not as the sugar babes at that time no, no. mks um, it's been complicated it's been really complicated but um we basically were just fighting for you know the name and you know legally mm -hmm. we want it back and it was really important for us because obviously we came up with it when we were kids and we shouldn't have had to have really have done that yeah um but we stuck together mm -hmm. and you know just kind of yeah it's who we are really mm -hmm. and and we're just glad that we've got it back and that's why this you know performance everything that we're doing now means so much more mm -hmm. and yeah. um, because we feel like the underdogs well because there was a there was quite a, a period of time when you didn't really see each other no yeah and yeah. so so when it when it came to right okay you know whether it's past differences or whatever it is you know we all need our space mm -hmm. uh, how was it when you started to begin to think about integrating back again to be honest it feels really natural for us wow. because you know we've grown up with each other but also like naturally we sing great with each other so like harmonies oh, oh no i love you girls <laughs> like our harmonies and everything always works so i mean not trying to big us yeah i think we kind of but we, but we met up and um we got on so well that mm -hmm. it it did you know it, it surprises yourself and then we were like okay well you know we'll try something in the studio it'd be amazing to kind of hear us sing together and it just felt and sounded like as fresh as it ever was yeah. yeah and it was kind of then impossible not to do it yeah um, well, 2020 it, put as well, yeah. a great oh, thing, God, yeah, it? Yeah, because it's it like the 20 year reunion and then uh, obviously we all know what happened and that sort of slowed things down yeah. somewhat. Yeah. But you finally back performing. You were headlining the Mighty Hoopla the other night. How was the fans' reaction to this? Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. It was so amazing. Like, honestly. Buzzing. Um, Except that we saw a lot of it afterwards. We because we, <laughs> we didn't even hear you. We kind of like cheering as loud. Yeah. We yeah. can really hear them when we're on the stage. But as soon as we came off stage, we were tagged in like so many videos uh, on social media. Crazy. We were like, 
and they've just been amazing. We've literally got diehard fans. I know everyone says that about their fans, but just yeah. how they support us, how they embrace us, and just the patience that they've had like, yeah, for sure. to wait for us to get the name back and everything. <laughs> Thank you guys, by the way. Which yeah. is why today yeah. we can say that the name is getting out there because is... um, what's happening? Well, we have Glastonbury tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then we're going um, on our first headline UK tour for quite a while. And yeah. so we I think the tickets go on first sale July. on the 1st of July yeah. and we're touring in October and November. Mm -hmm. I think you can't wait. Can so you? exciting. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's going to be so much fun. We've got so many, like, already we're, like, brainstorming different things and we're excited to just creative. get on the road. We've got an amazing band and, yeah. yeah, yeah. And things have yeah. changed. I mean, you, you know, you TikTok, obviously, you know, like, yes. Push the Button has gone viral on TikTok. That wasn't even a thing when, when that song came out. <laughs> oh, my God, that's funny. That, this whole new audience that it's getting to. That's great, yeah. yeah. It's so it's, it's nice because TikTok, I never really thought it would have kind of yeah. got to there like that. But, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Love a bit yeah, we, we did yeah. our own one. Yesterday. Yeah, we yeah, we've done, yeah, we've done it as well. We're going to post <laughs> we're, it. We're going to post it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, look out for that then. Um, um, enjoy glass. Yeah, have the we best will. time. Um, have so great time. Good luck with the uh, with the tour. That will be amazing. Long overdue now. Uh, mm. Thank right. goodness you were nearly there, and then uh, I, I know. Yeah. I know. But look at us now. <laughs> look yeah. at you now. We're doing it. <laughs> so as <laughs> as you said, you. pre sale tickets uh, for the UK tour uh, begin on the 29th of June. Uh, yeah. General tickets are the 1st of July, and I think you start in Bristol, don't you? I think uh, you know more than us. I think you I was learning. So, you I totally, yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I am. It would be part of the He'll drive the tour bus. Exactly. I am driving the tour bus. All right, okay. New tour manager, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, it's competition time now, and this week we are giving away our biggest prize of the year so far huge £300,000 in tax free cash. Here's Josie with the detail.